The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily represent those of Access Fort Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting group. Get involved with Access Fort Wayne and make your own television programming. Call 421-1250 to find out more. TV and we're going to be exploring about sharks part two. Hey James, today we will be continuing learning about sharks. We will be learning about different types of sharks including tiger sharks, blue sharks, and nurse sharks. We will also learn about zebra sharks, the sand tiger shark. We will also learn the life cycle of a shark. We will also talk about the terrifying shark attacks of 1916. Also, Ronnie is back from having his knee surgery with his wrestling corner. Talking about sharks, let's play the popular song, Baby Shark. <laughs> And please stay tuned for more on Wesley's TV. Welcome to Wesley TV. I am Jerry. I did, I did some magic and I turned into Jeff. No, Jerry is not here because he got bit, he got ate up by a shark. And he have to be a tiger. No, since we're talking about tiger fish, uh, what's up, bros? Not much. Just sitting here talking about sharks today. Yeah, can't leave Jerry 
got bit by a shark, he got ate by a shark, but not here. That was this one. He'll be back. The first shark we're going to be talking about is called the tiger shark. Watch out. Means of animals swim in the ocean searching for food. I wonder why Jerry's not here. All around a dark blue water moves quietly. Jerry! Jerry! Yeah, um, below them, however, something is hiding. Did you know that, Jeff? No. It is a tiger shark looking for its next meal. Tiger sharks have dark blue or gray backs, which act as camouflage. This makes it hard for other animals to see the big fish swimming below them. So meaning that they can get anybody at any time and not knowing, not nobody knowing them. There's a lot of animals like that too, but again, we're talking about sharks, but again, that's crazy on how people can, not people, but uh, different reptiles and so stuff like that can do that as well. So I didn't realize that about sharks. The tiger shark is a dark, dark colored back not only it helps the ocean hide in the ocean, but most tigers also have a white and yellow belly. Animals swim under the shark as large fish, so they do not look up. So he gets pretty much just whoosh, swallow them and eat them. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of them. Yeah, the shark's belly blends in with the waters near the ocean surface, which are brightened by the sun. The average male tiger shark is about 12 feet which is 3.7 milliliters long. Females can grow up to about 15 feet long, which is 4.6 milliliters long. Did you know that, Jeff? No, that would make sense because again, females are like, you know, like, you know, they have to take care of the babies and stuff like that too. So I can understand why they're a little bit longer than the males. Mm -hmm. Like different species do that as well. Like women's hips are bigger than our men because, you know, you guys got to bury babies. So again, that's probably why the babies are that as well. Oh yeah. But. The tiger sharks often live in warm waters around the world. Some tiger sharks are different from different homes during the year. The sharks head up north during the summer. The waters get so hot and warm. So they, I guess they like the climax of being really warm and the climate of being really warm. Yeah. Which I don't blame them. I mean, we like that too, but we don't get that in our waters. <laughs> yeah, definitely. We can get it frozen and cold. Yeah, you know it. And then they swim back south for the winter when the northern waters turn so cold, tiger sharks may swim up to 50 miles, which is 80 kilometers a day. That's about as far as a car travel on a highway in one hour. Did you know that, Jeff? That's, that's, well, that's interesting. No, I did not. Yeah. When night, nighttime comes, the shark is ready to hunt. So it's, it's like a, a midnight hunter, I guess. Yeah. So sometimes that's when a lot of, a lot of them's out. So. Yeah, they often hide in water where it's very dark. Get you! That's why it's not good to swim in the, in the ocean at night. That's that's the worst time to swim. The sharks are about to get you over here. Yeah. So she says, stay away from it. Yeah. Um. Other sea animals never see the big fish swimming near until the, it's too late. Did you know that tiger sharks usually hunt alone? Tiger sharks don't always need to see animals they are hunting. They usually don't. Well, that's, that is definitely interesting. Again, like I said, you know, we're all, they're all, they're mammals just like us, but they have all forms of life. But, you know, did, that sense like, you know, humans, animals, cats, you know, just like everybody lives, not everybody lives under the sea. We live under the sea, we wouldn't survive. But you know what I mean. A good sense of smell also help them find food under dark water. They can smell stuff a quarter of a mile. That's scary. And their favorite food are fish, seals, dolphins, octopus, sea shakes, birds, and atrocious and other sharks. Wow. I'm surprised they don't have their snakes. Yeah. A tiger shark has razor sharp teeth. They can easily rip apart the body of almost any prey. It don't, wow. matter, it don't matter what it is. After the shark grabs an animal it is in its mouth, it is nearly impossible for the creature to escape. The shark then either swallows the victim whole or uses its teeth as a saw to cut off pieces of the prey's body. 
to eat. Tiger sharks will sometimes swallow trash that people throw into the ocean. They've known to swallow glass bottles, leather boots, even still oil drums. Tiger sharks often called uh, swimming garbage cans. Did you know that, Jeff? No, that's interesting. Yeah. So I wonder if, you know, if they get cut on glass or something like that, because if, if we were to swallow glass or eat glass, we would bleed internally. So I wonder how that would happen with them. That's that's a fact that I did you know, you get what I'm saying, because again, if it was us, we bleed, but I wonder if that happened with them. That's very interesting. Yeah, that is kind of interesting to sometimes think about that. I don't I don't know. I've, I've uh, watched shows and stuff, and they've, they've cut them open to see what they have inside, but from what they've discussed, I've heard them say something about they have very tough, thick skin. Camouflage also helps some animals hide from danger as well. Hunt from the plate, get tarps, shark attacks, shark, 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 The only creature that is brave enough to attack is a larger shark. Tiger sharks usually swim slowly, however, they can swim fast when they escape in danger. I think that's 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 instinct with everybody. If somebody's coming after me, I'm definitely going to either run or defend myself. Oh, yeah. But uh, before we get on the subject, I was watching something actually on uh, YouTube or on a, uh, it was regarding, not not specifically a tiger shark or anything like that, just any kind of shark. Did you also know that an alligator and a shark, there are differences in, in, in the alligator can eat a shark? Yeah. I didn't know that until, until I was watching that video. I was like, this is interesting. So again, Alligators are, are more powerful than sharks. I didn't know that until I watched this this thing on YouTube. Yeah, um, it, it it depends on the shark though. Um, uh, the different uh, the different um, sharks that the alligator goes after it. Like um, some shows I've seen, the smaller the shark is, the alligator can get. But like if it's a bigger one than what the alligator is, it's harder. Yeah, I, I get for the, the alligator. It's interesting actually to find out not only from mostly TV, but it's just in general. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's definitely an interesting thing to to do some study on. I thought I'd share that even though it's off the record of uh, tiger sharks. But yeah, it's, this thing is doing a flip-flop thing on my hair. <laughs> yeah. yeah, thank you. Technical difficulties at the yeah. Wesley TV, but it, we make things work. We're having issues here. <laughs> um, Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, in the late summer of fall, female tiger sharks have babies called pups. Um, did you know that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a mother pups. may produce uh, up to 10 to 80 pups at one time. Once they are born, she doesn't stay around to take care of her babies. Luckily, the pups know how to swim and hunt all on their own. Take tiger sharks uh, give birth to more babies at a time than almost other type of sharks. Yeah, that's pretty cool information. I, I like that. Oh, yeah. Definitely. But yeah, it's that's uh, some good information to to have there. Oh yeah, for sure. So, a young tiger shark has its stripes on on its back just like the tiger shark. In fact, it's uh, how it got its name. Mark blend in with the ocean. Yeah, please stay tuned for more for Wesley TV. Again, like I said, anything can happen on TV. Please come on. TV today, we will be talking about the sand tiger sharks. A dive crew descends on the wreck of the Dex Dixie Arrow off of the coast of Cape Hedris. German forces sunk this American ship in 1942. Now it rests at a depth of 90 feet or 27 meters. It is one of the most popular dive sites in North Carolina. 
As the crew approaches the shipwreck, they see the long shadows of the sand tiger sharks. The sharks remain still as schools of tiny fish hurry past. A diver swims closer to one of the sharks and comes face to face with a mouthful of razor sharp teeth. Did you know that? I know. Wow. The sand tiger shark does not attack. Instead, it slowly swims away. Sand tiger sharks inhabit warm coastal waters in every ocean except the eastern Pacific. They are named after their sandy homes along the ocean floor of the surf zone. Did you know that, James? Oh, that's a new one. Yeah. Sand tiger sharks often return to the same spot every year to mate. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, that is. Shipwrecks and coral reefs are popular meeting points. Gatherings of up to 80 sand tiger sharks are common around shipwrecks off the east coast of the United States. Man, that's a lot of sharks. Yeah, it is. The sand tiger shark is not aggressive, but it has a threatening look. It often swims with its mouth open. Rows of long, rugged teeth stick out in every direction. Behind the jaws is a bulky body. It can measure up to 10 and a half feet with weight up to 350 pounds. The sand tiger shark uses eight fins to move a large uh, quadril fin portal to shark forward. The other fin help it turn, stop, and stay upright. Sand tiger sharks shed most of their teeth over two week periods. New teeth move forward from back rows to replace the old ones. Did you know that, James? No, that's the new one I learned. Yeah, wow, that is weird. Sand tiger sharks are oparious. This means they develop in eggs within the uterus. A female sand tiger shark has two uteruses. Each uterus holds many eggs. Wow. The largest pups that hatch eat the smaller pups and unhatched eggs. After eight to 12 months, the mother gives birth to two grown-up pups. The newborns are three foot long and weigh around 13 pounds. They can swim and eat on their own. That's definitely interesting. A young sand tiger shark can be prey for larger sharks. Its counter shading helps it blend in with its surroundings. Rust-colored spots on the shark's back look like the sandy ocean floor. The spots fade as the sharks grow, and other predators become less of a threat. Researchers believe that female and tiger sharks uh, stop feeding for several weeks while they are pregnant. Moss grows on their teeth while they are not in use. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't know that one. That's yeah, that's something new. During the day, sand tiger sharks stay around underwater caves and cliffs. At night, they sweep the ocean floor in search of prey. They are the only sharks stay around underwater caves and cliffs. At night, they sweep the ocean floor in search of prey. They are the only sharks in search of prey. They are the only sharks known to float motionless in the water. They do this, to do this, they swim to the surface and swallow air. This makes them buoyant. The sharks can then sink by letting their air out. The needle-like teeth of a sand tiger shark are best suited for small prey. They can be swallowed whole. Some of the shark's favorite fish is snapper, sea bass, flounder, and eel. It will sometimes feast on crabs, lobsters, and squid. Every so often, it will go after smaller sharks. Did you know that, James? No, I didn't know that. The sand tiger shark uses sensors to guide it to its prey. The ambu paws of Lorenzi lie beneath the surfaces of the shark's skin. They detect the weak electric fields of nearby prey. The sand tiger shark also depends on its noise nose to find food. It can sniff out a meal from miles away. Sand tiger sharks sometimes hunt in groups. They surround schools of fish and force them together. This makes the fish easier to catch. Hmm. That's a new one. Yeah. 
in the 1950s and 1960s, it was common for divers in Australia to kill sand tiger sharks. Some thought the sharks were dangerous and acted in self-defense. Others knew the sharks were not a threat. They killed for the thrill alone. The numbers lost during this time have greatly reduced the sand tiger shark population. Did you know that, Jeff? No, we can't live without extinct. Yeah. Sand, sand tiger sharks are still caught for food in the North Pacific and Indian Oceans. They're also hunted off the west coast of Africa. Their meat is especially popular in Japan. It is sold fresh, frozen, smoked, and dried. The liver is taken for its oil, and the skin is used for leather. The shark fin trade puts a high price on dried fins. They are used in shark fin soup. Even the jaws and teeth of the sand tiger shark are seen as trophies. Sand tiger sharks are protected in Australia and on the Atlantic and Gulf Coast of the United States. Their main threats in the waters are fishers who catch young sharks by accident. Still, the sand tiger shark population grows slowly. Females only give birth every few years uh, overfishing of sand tiger sharks and their prey is a major threat. The sand tiger shark has been listed as vulnerable by the International Union of Conservation of, Nat uh, of Nature. Did you know that? No, that's good that they're protected. Never say never. According to the International Shark Attack file, there are around 30 sand tiger sharks attacks on record. Only a few of them were fatal. Please stay tuned for more on Wesley's TV. Please join us on December 19th for the 23rd, 2023, noon to 9 p.m. each day for our Dirt Ill personal Christmas fest. We can watch our crew members having silly or injuries like me, which they may not be able to ha do the in person Christmas fest. So we'll be doing personal Christmas fest only this year on December 19th for the 23rd, 2023. New this year, we'll be premiering on our YouTube channel, Leslie Timmy Orton. 
from noon to nine instead of a whole 24 7 on those days. I mean, you cut it down to only noon and nine. So it makes it easier for your body. And stay tuned for more. Warm wishes from all of us at Parkview Health for a happy, healthy holiday season. La, 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 la. about zebra sharks. Zebra sharks live in the Indian and Pacific Oceans. You can find them in warm coastal waters. Zebra sharks prefer shallow waters. They like having places to hide and rest. Did you know that means? No, how could they hide in shallow water? I don't know. Adult zebra sharks have spots on their backs. They are sometimes called leopard sharks. Zebra sharks are long and flat. They lie flat on the ocean floor. Zebra sharks have long tails tails helps them to swim. Zebra sharks are slow swimmers. They swim a lot like eels do. <laughs> zebra sharks hunt mainly at night. Their favorite food is fish. They like crabs and snails too. Zebra sharks lay eggs. They lay about four eggs at a time. Baby zebra sharks are called pups. They have stripes when they are born. Pups are on their own after they hatch. Please stay tuned for more on Wesley's TV. Next on Wesley's TV, we will talk about nurse sharks. Nurse sharks live in the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. They like warm, shallow water. They're often found near coral reefs. Nurse sharks are very big. They can grow up to 10 feet long. Nurse sharks are gray and brown. Some have dark spots. Nurse sharks have strong jaws. They have tiny, sharp teeth. Nurse shark. sharks have two barbells. They are like whiskers that are used to fill for prey. Nurse sharks rest during the day. They can be found clumped together. Nurse sharks hunt mostly at night. They move slowly along the ocean floor. The barbells locate a prey that the sharks uh, lung at the lunge at the prey and suck it into their mouths. Nurse sharks eat lots of shellfish, but their favorite foods include squid and fish. Baby sharks are called pups. Nurse sharks give birth to 20 to 30 pups. Mothers have their pups right after birth. Nurse sharks have pups every other year. Pups are 11 to 12 inches at birth. Some will grow to be 10 feet long, but most grow to be around seven and a half feet long. 
On average, adult females are longer and heavier than males. Please stay tuned for more on Wesley's TV. Next on Wesley's TV, we will talk about blue sharks. Blue sharks are not often seen in the wild. They live in cold and deep waters. The blue shark has a long nose. Its black eyes are big and round. Did you know that, James? No, oh, that's crazy. The blue shark is skinnier than other shark species. Its fins look big on its thin body. Blue sharks are good swimmers. They are some of the fastest sharks. Hmm. A blue shark's teeth are thin and sharp. Its teeth and speed make it a great hunter. Blue sharks love to eat squid. They will eat many kinds of fish too. Did you know that? That's... Blue sharks often live in social groups. These groups are called schools. Most other shark species live alone. Maybe blue sharks are called pups. Blue sharks can give birth up to 130 pups. Wow, that's a lot. Pups are called... Uh, Pups care for themselves after birth. They will grow to about 10 feet long. People rarely see blue sharks in the wild. When blue sharks are spotted, they are often jumping out of the water. Did you know that, James? No. Blue sharks come in many shades of blue. They range from light blue to deep blue. A blue shark can sense its prey heartbeat from miles away. Please stay tuned for more on Wesley's TV. Next on Wesley's TV today, we will now talk about the life cycle of a shark. What is a shark? Sharks are fish like all fish. Sharks live in the water. Sharks have body parts called gills for breathing under the water. Sharks are cold-blooded animals. The body temperatures of the cold-blooded animals change as the temperatures of their surroundings change. That's interesting. So many sharks, there are about 450 known species of sharks. All sharks have the same main body parts, but each species of shark looks different. Some sharks, such as whale sharks, are large, and other sharks, such as spiny dogfish sharks, are small. Did you know that, James? No, wow, that's crazy. There's 450 different species. A shark's body. Most sharks have streamlined or sleek bodies. Having streamlined bodies allows sharks to swim through water easily. A few shark species are called bottom dwellers. Bottom dwellers are sharks that swim along the bottom of the ocean and often rest on the ocean floors. Most bottom dwelling sharks have wild, flat bodies. Light in the water, a shark has an organ inside its body called a liver. Most sharks have large livers. A shark's liver is filled with oil. The oil inside the shark's liver is lighter than the water around the shark's body. Having an oil-filled liver helps the shark swim easily through the water. Did you know that, James? No, oh, that's, wow. I didn't know that either. What is a life cycle? Every animal goes through a life cycle. A life cycle is made up of stages or changes which an animal goes through during its life. First, an animal is born or hatches from an egg. The animal then grows and changes until it becomes mature or an adult. As an adult, the animal can mate or join together to make babies. An animal's lifespan is not the same as its life cycle. A lifespan is the length of time an animal is alive. Different sharks have different lifespans. The lifespans our large sharks are usually longer than are the small sharks. Most sharks, including the great white shark, live for, for about 25 years. And the whale shark can live to be 70 years old. Wow, that is a lot. Growing inside, a pregnant female shark has embryos developing inside her body. The embryos are safe there. Her body provides them with the perfect temperature for growing. Most female sharks are pregnant for almost 12 months. Hmm. Young sharks, mother sharks, do not care for their pups. After the pups are born, shark pups are born knowing how to hunt 
for food and how to hide from predators. Predators are animals that hunt other animals for food. The animals that predators hunt is called prey. Newborn pups are prey for adult sharks and other animals, but pups are safe in nurseries. The pups stay safe by hiding among plants and rocks. They hunt for shrimps, small fish, and tiny crabs. Older shark pups are often called juveniles. When they are four or five years old, juveniles move to deeper water. There they feed on large prey such as squids and big fish. Many juveniles stay in small groups for protection from predators such as adult sharks, dolphins, and barracudas. Adult life, an adult shark has long, thick teeth and broad, strong denticles. It is big and strong enough to kill and eat large prey. Sharks continue growing throughout their lives. Their bodies never stop growing. Adult sharks are also large and strong enough to protect themselves from being eaten. I can see that for sure. Oh, yeah. In fact, sharks have such a in fact, huge sharks such as great whites, bull sharks, and tiger sharks are apex or top predators. The sharks have predators because they are too big and powerful to be killed. Adult sharks are solitary, which means live alone. They do not need other sharks to protect them or help them find food. On the hunt. Different sharks eat different foods depending on their size and the way they hunt. Sharks that can swim quickly hunt fast moving prey such as dolphins. Some sharks chase down their prey and then bite the prey to kill it. Other fast swimming sharks use their tails to strike and kill prey before eating it. Did you know that didn't? Oh, I guess to each his own. They kill them all. Living, living low, most bottom-dwelling sharks, such as nurse sharks, hunt crabs, lobsters, squid, and fish that swim near the bottom of the oceans. Many bottom-dwellers simply wait on the ocean floor for small fish and other prey to swim by. That's smart. Mm -hmm. We need sharks. Sharks help keep oceans healthy and by eating sick, injured, and dead animals. They also eat other predators, including scales, large fish, and octopus. Eating these animals helps keep a healthy balance because between predator and prey population in oceans. Hmm. By hunting all kinds of fish, octopuses, and seals, sharks keep the populations of these sharks, keep the population of these sharks from growing too large. Save the sharks. Large sharks such as lemon sharks and great white sharks are now endangered. Animals, endangered animals are at risk of disappearing from Earth forever. Sharks need help from people in order to survive. I agree with that. Yeah. Studying sharks to learn more about shark behavior. Some scientists place tags on sharks. A tag is a small plug that has, been, has a transmitter attached to it. The transmitter sends messages that give scientists information about route sharks take to get from place to place and about how far sharks swim. Scientists use the information to learn where sharks swim when they are ready to mate. Before scientists begin studying sharks in the water, they must learn how to protect themselves and to avoid shark bites. Please stay tuned for more on Wesley's TV. Hey, hey, Wesley's TV. <laughs> Letting you know PSA today. You need to wear seatbelt. If now you gotta wear They will be the first ones out the gate. Do not follow too close because we just had a collision out here. Just a second ago. That's number one and number two. Number three. Moses Bay Pet Pete. There's also no bumper cars, okay? They're not bumper cars. They're go-karts. 
It's very dangerous when you try to play bumper cars with these. They're not bumper cars, they're go cars. Okay, that's my PSA for today, people. Go have fun and be safe. Later, guys. Hi, my name is Evelyn, and I am the one that crashed the go-kart. I am okay. I just have this little goose egg right here. <laughs> but I am okay. And what happened was that I was turning this way to go into the, um, to go around the left go around the, like, the lap thing one more time, and it, like, kind of, like, let, I kind of let go of it, and it, like, turned all the way around, and it crashed into the wall, but I am okay, and be careful when you're riding those go-karts, okay, bye! Ladies and gentlemen, he is in zoo. That is number eight. Zoo number eight. Mm.
Shark Week 2. So, what we're going to do today is a special tournament for this title. Yes. We might as well have the title in play for Wesley TV. First debut, made his debut. It's kind of funny on how we're doing a wrestling segment. My uh, guest star, what's up, Monster? Hi. How are you? Good. Good. And Ronnie, how's it going, Ronnie? Good. So, Ronnie, um, uh, hi, Dad. Oh, hi. Uh, I, I spoke a very special announcement, too, on a, on a, not a Dose Landis, I'm sorry. Special announcement on Wesley TV that Ronnie is now a father. So, Ronnie, what's your baby's name? What the? What? What the? Hockey sticks at a Commons game. Junior? Oh, it's Ronnie, the daughter. Like <laughs> Rhonda. Oh, so it's Rhonda. But, yeah, his nickname's Rhonda. I've never heard of a female called Junior before. Ladies and gentlemen, first ever debut on Wesley TV. A female named Junior. Ronnie Junior. I normally can counteract with with, with that, but um um um, <laughs> so I can say it right now. So uh, when did you discover you had a daughter named Junior? Um, <laughs> probably like um, um, I'm so <laughs> oh, a long time ago. Ah, okay, <laughs> interesting. So, uh, yeah, Junior. Yeah. He's drinking a Pepsi, too. You're a bad parent. <laughs> no, just kidding. I just can't believe Ronnie actually had a kid. Yep, and he got a Pepsi. And... So what do you do with your kid? Do you, I mean, since you found out, do you, are you caught up on child support? Um, I don't got to, um, like... I can take it to the, I take it to the doctors. Yep. You take the doctor. You take her to the doctor. Um, no, to the doctor offices. Ah. Get checks up. Get shots. Interesting. I just can't really can't really say anything now. I'm, I'm left speechless for once. And that's kind of odd. It's me speechless. But anyways, we're here to talk about, I'm sorry, Junior for a female. What have you been, never mind, this isn't the show to, to talk about. So we're here at Wesley's Corner, or Ronnie's Corner. Junior, whatever, we're, we're, we're at a corner. Oh, yeah. With a baby. So uh, let's get on to the action. Go ahead. Well, who's facing who right now? Oh, look at the Dragon Stable versus Stony Steve Austin. See, he could be called Junior. Oh. He's a guy. Oh. But anyways, just just, just ring the bell. Go ahead, go ahead Monster F1. Ding, ding, ding. ding. I'm speechless yeah. right now. I can't say much right now. Oh, he hits him in the face. He's jumping on the ring. Oh, he's, oh. He's, oh, he's jumping on the, on the midsection. Yep. Uh, Steamboat's trying to pick him up. Oh, yeah. Trying to drag him. Yeah. Trying to drag his junior. Yeah. Oh, he's going out the ring. Oh, oh yeah. punch in the face, punch in the throat. Oh. Ooh. Taking him outside. He's hanging outside on the ropes. Another punch. The referee's just standing in there like, like nothing. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Ryan is saying, get in here, Junior. Why, why don't we have Junior in a match? <laughs> junior, Junior. <laughs> so is Junior the GM of, of, uh, of uh, your wrestling company? Yep. Huh? So Ronnie is, the, Ronnie is the owner of... of uh, Skyforce, is it Skyforce Wrestling still? Yep. Ronnie is the CEO of yep. of uh, Skyforce Wrestling, and Junior, 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 yep. is the general manager. Yep. 
Ronnie, have you ever thought about having a draft on your on your on your wrestling show? He's, he's going for the. Oh yeah. <laughs> So what's if you gonna agree with this? I got the wood. <laughs> the next show, we're gonna have Junior face uh, Ronnie in a match. Oh yeah, I'll get us some food and ice cream, cupcakes. Our main event on the next show will be Ronnie what? versus Junior. Yeah. You gonna eat some? When when is the new owner of Skyforce Wrestling? <laughs> You're gonna um give us some pumpkin pie. Ooh, I can bring in a birthday cake. <laughs> there you go. Here for her wins the match. He want a um, birthday cake. Happy birthday. Hey. Hi, Ronnie. This is this is Junior. Oh. Beating like crazy. Oh, yes. oh my God! This is nice. Whoa! So I think uh, I think it's been in a while. I think Junior wants to say a couple, a couple, a couple things about you, Ronnie. Okay, you know, got your Pepsi. Oh, hold on, put put it on Junior and, and Ronnie. Oh, give us some ice and a pop. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh, good. Oh, you got a football. See her with a football. Yeah, I, I think I think Ronnie's talking to Junior. Hi, what's up, Dad? Hi, Daddy. You like the coat? Yes, I do. Yeah. I want to face you in a wrestling match next time. Yep. When are, the, when are this? When are this match gets a title? When are this is the new owner of Skyforce Wrestling? Yep. Who's my child support, Dad? Um, <laughs> I get to I get you a football and. How much do you need? Twenty dollars to get you some shoes. Twenty dollars for child support? Are you crazy? Oh, <laughs> someone. I think. Oh, you need some gym shoes. I can't wear gym shoes. I'm too young. Oh, you can wear sandals. <laughs> yeah, you can oh wear. <laughs> you can wear sandals. But anyways, we're going back to the wrestling. We're, we're sorry, we're, we're sorry. We're, we're also dealing with Ronnie and his baby, reuniting yeah. for the first time, and then we got wrestling action. What, what can you expect? We're the next Wesley, Wesley, Wesley TV. <laughs> but all right, Ricky Dragon Steamboat is going back to the thing. He's like setting oh, yeah. up. For, oh, oh, who's yeah. gonna win this one? I don't know. Are they gonna in this first match? Yeah, my daughter be in. Um, Jenna will be in a uh, match. Probably when we go back on, she gonna I'll go for the belt. Yeah, you gonna go for the belt. We got a, we got a minute left for this, for this matchup. Oh, One, yeah. two. Come on, ref. One, two, three. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned for the next match. But I want to talk to Ronnie and Junior real quick. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, Ronnie, Junior. Yeah. So, uh, are you guys going to actually face each other on the, on the next Wesley TV? Yep. Good. I'm going to kick my my dad. I'm going to become the new owner. I own this stuff, man. My dad my dad can't even run, he can't even run to the bathroom right. What? Uh, I got a, a walking stick. Oh, I have so, all right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> We just had a we, we just have a, a match being accepted for uh, the next Wesley TV. Yep. Oh. But we're gonna go on to the next match. Stay tuned for more. Yep. Rocking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop. Tries to stop Rocking around The Christmas tree Let the Christmas spirit break Later we'll have Some pumpkin pie And we'll do some caroling You will get a sentimental feeling When you hear Voices singing Let's be jolly Set the halls with bottles of party Christmas tree, have a happy heart.
Beginning with the 2018-2019 school year, all LTISD school buses will be equipped with seatbelts. It is important for seatbelts to be worn correctly so that all students are safe while riding the bus. Let's show you how. First click, then tug and snug. That's right, just click, tug, and snug. Great job! Make sure to stay buckled in for the entire ride. In an event of a crash, wearing your seatbelt may prevent serious injury and can even save your life. Remember, as soon as you board the bus, make sure to click, tug, and snug. Safety first!